Hi beautiful friends, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. I am fine too, I thank God. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you so much for returning back here. But if you are new here in this channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that notification bell. It is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. You will always enjoy every content that I upload. I can promise you this, guys. So, dear friends, do you dream of that beautiful online dating success love story? If the answer is yes, then today I need your attention. <laughs> yes, guys, take a piece of paper and a pen write down everything that i'm going to be sharing in our today's video because our today's video will be all about how to increase your chances to find the one on online dating apps do you remember when i told you that when you are on online dating apps you should do the right thing don't just be on online dating apps and complain you're not finding the one while you are doing the wrong thing <laughs> <laughs> that means you are wasting your time so in our today's video the tips that i'm going to be sharing with you they are the right thing what you should do on online dating apps for you to find the one it will increase your chances guys i have something like a disclaimer i've been receiving very negative discouraging comments here on my channel so if you know that you are here to discourage others please please keep that comment for yourself because this channel is all about encouraging women is all about positive vibes only guys <laughs> and the tips that i'm sharing today are for ladies who are determined to get what they want because if you want something you should go for it i cannot talk about increasing your chances on online dating apps and then forget about your profile your profile on online dating apps is very very important it is the first thing a man who is serious looks at before writing you a message so that is why i made it number one so when we talk about your online dating profile we are going to be starting with your photos tip number one about your online dating photos that you're going to be uploading on your profile they should be clear very very clear when a guy opens your photo he should see you clearly not a photo of low quality please please but again don't go and do a photo shoot <laughs> of those photos and start editing them a lot no you should look natural but they should be very good light because when your photos have got good light it means they are going to attract you know men to be curious click on them yeah but two about your photos they shouldn't have a distracting background i talked about this but today i am adding that don't go to those expensive places something that is not your life and take photos then upload them on online dating apps because the background will say something else about your life so please in this try to be you show who you are number three about the photos i talked about colors please don't go and dress up in dull colors then take photos because it's gonna dim your light look for outfits that have got very beautiful colors colors that makes you look alive you're going to tell me bella i don't know those beautiful colors i told you if you want help on that reach out to me on instagram yes i'm going to help you out i'll tell you which colors suit your skin tone yes because i'm so good at that you guys can see the colors that i always put on they bright me up <laughs> okay do you agree with me or not on this <laughs> i think yes so colors are very very important some ladies they send me their photos and when i look at the outfits the outfits are very nice 
but the colors the colors you know blocks you completely so look for outfits that has got very vibrant and beautiful colors that will brighten you up that when a guy sees your photo he will click on it before about the photos so when taking your photos outfits are very important like i said color but another thing that you should really consider is the fit make sure the outfits that you put on fit you very well don't go and put on very provocative outfits take photos then upload them on your online dating profile that way you are going to be attracting losers and we are not interested in losers so put on decent outfits outfits that fits you well take photos then upload them on your online dating profile because when a serious man comes and sees that your photos are very decent he is going to be more attracted and write you that first message because that is what we are aiming at number five i'm going to be talking about the numbers of the photos that you should upload on your online dating profile for me i would say not more than three photos three photos are very very enough so take two full photos of yourself and one of it can be half but don't just go and take passport size photos then upload them on your online dating profile my dear sister no one is gonna click on it and even if they click on it it won't give them the more and men on online dating apps wants to see them more but photos shouldn't be too much don't go and upload five photos six photos ten photos no that is trying too hard and as a beautiful woman who understands yourself you don't want to look like you're trying too hard <laughs> no so three photos are enough when you get that first message things goes well this guy gonna see more and more of your photos in your private chats after exchanging phone numbers number six about your photos on online dating apps and this is the last one concerning the photos <laughs> okay most of you have been telling me bella i don't know how to pose for the photos or someone sends you a photo and when you look at it she's like you know rigid we want to stand out I know most of you uses Facebook, most of you uses Instagram, you have celebrities that you follow and they inspire you. So if you like the photos of the celebrity that inspires you, it's not a crime to copy the way they pose. So you can copy and start practicing, you know, practice make things perfect. <laughs> so start practicing we were not born knowing everything no we are not born knowing how to pose for photos but you can practice till you make it perfect <laughs> and achieve those beautiful photos that don't look like you're trying too hard you can take photos like maybe you're trying to you know to walk you can take a photo you're trying to jump you can take a photo like you know you're looking somewhere or pointing at something you know such kind of photos that don't look exactly you are posing <laughs> this is for your own benefit on online dating apps but also you know in real life you want those beautiful photos i know this tip is gonna help you we want to stand out <laughs> on online dating apps and make that guy that is the one send you that first message but two on how to increase your chances on online dating apps we are still on your online dating profile so while setting up your profile they always ask you this question talk more about you or tell us more about you <laughs> tell more about yourself this is very important when an app asks you that it means they want to look for men who matches you your matches so the matches that they are going to be suggesting for you that means one of those matches might be the one <laughs> so through about yourself helps an app or a site to find the one for you but not only that a man who is very very serious when he comes to your profile after going through your beautiful photos he will want to know who you are just a brief of it don't go and start writing i am very beautiful i'm very naughty <laughs> <laughs> I can be rude sometimes. <laughs> 
how can you do that to yourselves of course you won't get any guy who will write to you but when you write i am naughty of course you will get same same men that are naughty that they want nude photos they want online because you told them <laughs> of who you are <laughs> and also when you talk about yourself try to talk more of good things about you we are not perfect everyone knows that so even that man who is serious knows that he cannot find that perfect woman on online dating apps <laughs> when he falls in love with you he's gonna accept you with your imperfection okay so there is no need for you to go and start writing that i can be rude sometimes when i get angry <laughs> <laughs> that one turns men off no one wants to know negative things when they know someone for that first time even if it was you you come across such kind of a profile of a man saying that he can be rude sometimes you won't write him that first message i am very very sure so please talk of more good things about you things that your friends always tell you you are very kind you are very loving someone can count on you you know such kind of things also talk a bit about your hobbies to add something about you <laughs> some ladies have been doing this mistake please don't do it <laughs> you talk in proverbs <laughs> If you want to know my hobbies, let's get to know each other. <laughs> it's like you telling these men your hobbies, you being clear and brief, you're doing them a favor. Guys, you are not doing anyone a favor, <laughs> but you are increasing your chances to find the one. But you talking in Proverbs, not wanting to tell a guy who you are, <laughs> on your profile that means you're decreasing your chances to find the one so never do this guys do the right thing <laughs> so guys another tip on how to increase your chances to find the one most ladies have been failing here big big time and this is the place where they ask you what are you looking for in a man so you find a lady writing that i am not ready to have sex for marriage i want a very rich man i've seen these guys it's not that i'm just you know imagining things i've seen this in most ladies profiles <laughs> you have to be financially okay <laughs> you have to be responsible <laughs> you have to be very well educated guys don't do that <laughs> When you write such kind of things, you will never find a man who is serious. You will never. Trust me. You don't want to share your goodies before marriage. That's okay. That's your choice. But it shouldn't be on what you're looking for in a man. These things come after. When a guy writes to you, you vibe everything is going well. Then slowly by slowly, you let him know that you want to wait till marriage. And if he loves you, if he is into you, he's gonna wait. But if you write it on your profile, you are going to scare men away. And we don't wanna scare men away, guys. <laughs> we go to where you say you want a man who is financially stable, a responsible man. <laughs> guys, some men will find this very offensive. But I told you, you have to be clever. Once you start chatting with a guy, slowly by slowly, you're gonna find out yourself without even asking him if this guy is financially stable or not. There is no need for you to write such kind of a word. Those are the words which scares men away. You're going to tell me, so Bella, it means you're going to attract men who are not financially stable. No, <laughs> you will attract men who are financially stable. Another secret, guys, a man who is rich on online dating apps will never show you that he is rich. So you writing such kind of things, mm -mm, it doesn't make a good impression. So on what you're looking for in a man, I told you, what are those good qualities of a good husband so you can just brief it that way <laughs> yeah you can just say i want a respectful man god fearing don't go and start writing i want a man who is too religious no just write i want a god fearing man respectful faithful caring and a man who is ready 
to settle down when you write you want a man who is ready to settle down and have a family that means you are looking for a man who is responsible but don't just write i want a responsible man no i want a man who is ready to settle down and have a family guys some phrases scares men away and that one decreases your chances to find the one let's finish about your profile always remember to give a disclaimer this will filter men who are serious and men who are not serious yes sometimes when you write that you keep getting messages from men who are not serious men who want to play games but at least you know it cuts down the number of the players yes it helps guys so keep writing it in your profiles make it clear that you are not in for games you are looking for someone very serious you're not there to send men nude photos you're not there to do online sex because you are not a prostitute so if someone is interested in such kind of things should not write to you so friends tip number one was your online dating profile i hope we are clear on that we go to tip number two which is for you to increase your chances to find the one on online dating apps you need to know how to differentiate between a serious man and a man who is not serious this is very very important once you master that i'm so so sure you are going to find the one it might take long but you will eventually find the one and that is why i've been here giving you the tips all the time to help you differentiate a guy who is serious and a guy who is not serious it is very very sad i've seen ladies wasting their time on online dating apps chatting with men who are not serious but because they can't differentiate they keep on chatting and eventually they end up crying so you find you're chatting with a guy and just few messages he is complaining about the distance when you see that know that relationship will never work no matter how you try a guy who is complaining about the distance then that guy wasn't ready to chat with someone who is in africa we talked about this <laughs> remember in the story that i shared with you so that guy will never be serious because he has put the boundary at the beginning of your conversation and we want men who are determined men who are ready to face any challenges that comes their way because interracial dating especially you guys who are interested in interracial dating it's not easy i've been saying this and i keep saying it it's not easy you have to be ready to face the challenges so if the guy is talking about the distance complaining let him go you chat with the guy he's talking about nude photos talking about how he wants to marry a black woman because he is very sure they are so hot in bed you know that that guy might be even a maniac those are same same weird guys that will marry you and then start treating you like their same objects so better end it cancel him move to the next that way you are increasing your chances to find the one but if you keep on wasting your time chatting with losers my dear sister you will still be there you will still come to me tell me bella i've been online for years but i keep getting players chat with a guy he sends you good morning and good night every day but no more conversation he does not share with you his daily activities nothing like that and it has been like that for three months cancel him move to the next because he is only wasting your time those are same same guys i've been telling you that they are happy to have that online girlfriend but they don't want anything more than that so why should you be that online girlfriend that he will never meet your reasons to be on online dating apps is not only to be the online girlfriend that will remain the online girlfriend guys shine your eyes you exchange phone numbers with a guy on online dating apps you are chatting on whatsapp it is your fifth month right now but when you go online to check if he is online you find him there 24 7 and you still call this guy your boyfriend he's not your boyfriend that is why he is still 
online searching for another woman you are not the one so don't waste your time because we always fail here we always settle for less guys if you found a guy on online dating apps and you are chatting let's say on whatsapp he is not giving you what you dreamt in your relationship or what you wanted to see in your future husband better end it please please guys i remember there is this lady came to me one day and then she was telling me about the boyfriend explained everything after talking to her i knew exactly the guy wasn't the one i knew guys i knew that guy wasn't serious but i told the lady open your eyes shine your eyes because this guy is telling you he's coming to visit you how well do you know this guy to be able to introduce this guy to your parents be very careful she did not listen to me guys <laughs> continued with the relationship she came to find out the guy was just a player <laughs> Then she was like, oh my God, thank you so much, Bella. You told me the truth because later on I came to, you know, shine my eyes and I stopped that relationship. Right now I am dating someone else and everything is going fine. So guys, for you to increase your chances to find the one, don't waste your time on men who are not serious. Please learn to differentiate a serious man and a man who is not serious. Number three on how to increase your chances to find the one on online dating apps. Most of you have been coming to me. You're like, Bella, I finished in the lower level. Bella, I don't have the degree. Bella, I don't have masters. Bella, I did not study. <laughs> Guys, I did not tell you that men on online dating apps look for well-educated women, women with masters, when we talk of love, it does not look up to that. Not at all, guys. But when you are on online dating apps, you want to increase your chances to find the one, you should have good communication skills. Yes, dear beautiful ladies. So I am going to give you an example of this. You are on online dating apps, you receive a message from a guy, let's say this guy is from Norway, his name is Timothy, he introduced himself to you very, very well, where he's coming from, how old he is, how many kids he has, everything guys, even gives you compliments, you are so beautiful, I went through your profile and I like your photos very, very much, I would like to get to know you more. So after receiving that, you answer wow that's nice do you think this guy is gonna write to you again even if he said he wants to get to know you more he is not going to write to you again no and this is because you have failed on your communication skills when you receive a message like that you are supposed to also introduce yourself but remember to mention his name hi timothy i am bella <laughs> nice to meet you here your message is very very beautiful yes why not let's get to know each other give him the freedom to ask you more questions and ask him two more questions that is how you communicate avoid short messages when someone is trying to explain himself to you who he is because guys, remember, you are not in real life and sometimes it's not that you're going to be meeting soon. So these messages are very, very important to tell a guy who you are. So while chatting, I want to give you a secret. <laughs> Imagine that this guy is, you know, here, you are seeing this guy. Imagine of such kind of thing and they respond to this guy. Another secret. <laughs> try to be you be calm be natural be free okay because when you start being scared oh my god what should i reply <laughs> i've been seeing you guys you get a message and you run to me on my dm bella what should i reply <laughs> No, guys, be you. Feel free. Reply. Don't get scared of what this guy is going to think of you. No, he might even like 
what you replied but avoid short messages okay some will put k <laughs> oh nice wonderful beautiful ah that's good to know no guys you have to keep the conversation going you need to have good communication skills this will help you very very much so i have a little bit of a story and i know this will put me in trouble <laughs> but guys you know i'm always honest with you i did this because this lady paid me to do so <laughs> and i don't always do this because my time is very very limited so there is this lady i was helping on online dating apps and then she wanted to know some information about afro introduction so i told her go check here click here but again she did not understand so in the end i was like what can i do <laughs> i told her give me your password and your email so that i can log in to your account and then make a short clip of what i'm trying to explain to you so that you get to know how to use afro introduction so she sent me her email and her password i logged in on afro introduction and i had only two hours to stay there <laughs> so while i was there i went through her messages you know to check how she replies to men her first approach if she did exact thing like i told her <laughs> so i went through her messages and i was also trying to send some messages to guys you know send some likes <laughs> so while i was there i received a message from a guy and this guy they had chatted a day before but it was just you know that first message she is the one that first sent a message to the guy and then the guy replied and then she replied it ended there so the next day when this guy saw me thought i was the lady of course <laughs> sent a message and when he sent that message we immediately started chatting guys we chatted for two good hours and the guy was so so happy you know the chats could keep on going and going and i could feel that the guy is feeling me feeling that i am genuine due to what we discussed because he could ask questions and i could ask questions too he enjoyed very very much our conversation so after chatting for almost two hours before two hours finished <laughs> i started telling this guy you know what i am not always here <laughs> and i am planning not to come here end of this month because i am not finding anyone but guys i was just playing with his psychology <laughs> so he was like oh i really like the way we have chatted i would like to chat with you more and more so can we exchange phone numbers <laughs> and there there is a lady who has been chatting with a guy for a year they have not exchanged phone numbers do you see guys <laughs> so i was like sure sure we can exchange phone numbers just give me your phone numbers then i'll be the one to look for you he was like i can't wait to receive your message i am so so happy chatting with you you know so it's me who stopped the conversation because i wanted to log out <laughs> my time was over but this guy wanted to keep on chatting with me getting to know me so after exchanging phone numbers i sent the number to the lady i told her i've chatted with this guy one two three four please be positive and keep the conversation going i don't want this guy to sense that he was chatting with a different lady <laughs> so she was like okay bella i've heard you so they started chatting and she told me their first call lasted for one hour and a half as i am talking right now they are keeping on communicating they are keeping on getting to know each other but i can assure you everything is going very very well but i'm telling you why it worked because there was good communication skills if a guy shows you positive vibes and then you come <laughs> you know that the guy is gonna run away you are decreasing your chances to find the one so ladies please learn on how to communicate it's very very important so i want to also add a little bit about communication skills it's a secret <laughs> today i have so many secrets <laughs> 
<laughs> so when you chat with a guy, try to study him. Every message that he sends you, try to learn of how this guy is. It will help you on your next message, on your next reply. It's so, so important because once you know who this guy is, you know the way he thinks and the things he would like to hear, <laughs> that is when you get him. Yes, dear beautiful ladies. Also, when you exchange phone numbers, a guy writes to you, please make it continue going. Keep the conversation going. Don't disappear for two days and then return. Expect you will find this guy waiting for you. No, <laughs> he's going to get bored and he will feel you are not interested. So if you exchange phone numbers with a guy, you see the guy keeps on writing. Stay online. If you want to find the one, guys, you have to be ready. You have to be committed. Number four on how to increase your chances to find the one on online dating apps. Guys, every man that is on online dating apps searching for love, it's because that man couldn't find anyone in real life. And they have got their own reasons to why they can't find anyone in real life. Yes. <laughs> it might be maybe because of their character. It might be because of maybe his personality, the way he looks. Maybe he can't find someone to accept him the way he is. Some are very tall and they can't find someone who will accept a guy who is tall. Some are short, they can't find someone who will accept a short guy. So he chooses to go on online dating apps and try his luck. Or others, they are on online dating apps to search for black women to treat as slaves. Because of the way they are, they are useless. No white lady will accept them. I'm talking to you who are interested in interracial dating. So you have to be open-minded, but again, very careful. No matter how you want to be understanding, don't go for a useless guy. A guy who wants to treat you just like his sex slave, who wants to mistreat you just because you are a black woman, just because he has got his weird fantasies in head and wants to practice those fantasies on you. Even recently, there is a lady who was chatting with a guy. Then this guy told her that in their culture, when you have a girlfriend and this girlfriend comes to visit, the girlfriend has to sleep with everyone in the family, including the father of the guy. So those are their weird, weird fantasies that they put in head. And I'm so sure it's not even their culture. Thought of whom to practice their weird fantasies on, they thought of a black lady. So never go for that kind of a man. But when we come to other categories that I mentioned, by the way, I talked of healthy conditions. I've been getting messages from ladies. They tell me, Bella, there's this guy, he is disabled, looking for a lady, and I am planning to go meet him because he cannot travel. What I want to advise you on this, for you to take care of a man who is special like that, you need a big heart. So before you take advantage of this man, because I know some of you will accept these special men just because you want to take advantage of them. That's it. It's not that you love them or you can handle that. So before you do that, please make sure you have a very big heart. You are full of love and you can handle that situation. If you know you can't handle that, don't even try it. Because guys, once you are in a new country, everything changes. Don't put stupid ideas into your mind and be like, I'll get married to him and then leave him when I'm there. It will never happen. <laughs> and you will find yourself in trouble because if you don't have a big heart, you won't be able to take care of that man. Your life will be very, very miserable yes so for you to increase your chances on online dating apps you have to be very understanding as much as possible you find a guy maybe he has got a very difficult character but maybe with your character you are a perfect match 
who knows so you should be very very understanding you should be very open-minded so that you can increase your chances to find the one or maybe some guys can't find the one in real life because of the way they have chosen to live their life some people like to stay in the mountains <laughs> So he can't find any woman in real life that will accept to stay in the mountains. But if you come, you are very understanding, you chat with this guy and maybe falls in love with you, <laughs> because of love, he can shift from the mountains to the city who knows so you should always study the guy you are chatting to get to understand why he is on online dating apps <laughs> what is he searching for and try to fit yourself <laughs> in what he is looking for because that one will bring you very close to the one because eventually you will find a guy who is your perfect match Trust me, dear, beautiful ladies. So I thought I'd talk of this because I've been getting lots of messages from ladies who talk to me about that. But if you're open-minded, if you're very understanding, you've got a very big heart, you chat with a guy and he's like, I am disabled, I'm looking for a lady who will take care of me, a lady who will love me, and you see you fit in that, why not you go for it lastly guys on this that i said you should be understanding open-minded remember to be respectful while you are on online dating apps i know we are raised differently we have different characters and maybe when we get angry there is a way we react but always control yourself always be respectful I told you these men on online dating apps, most of them it's because they can't find anyone who will accept them in real life. For example, there is a lady I was <laughs> helping <laughs> and this lady was chatting with a guy, then this guy was overweight, but she kept on chatting with him. Actually, they were dating, <laughs> long distance relationship. And then one day, this girl said something about his weight. <laughs> joking about it but he took it very very seriously and ended the relationship then the lady came to me was like i don't know why did this guy overreact i told her that is a very sensitive thing i'm telling you be understanding be sensitive be respectful yes dear beautiful ladies otherwise you're going to keep on decreasing your chances to find the one number five on how to increase your chances on online dating apps dear beautiful ladies i told you if you want something go for it i did a video about jerry i think there is another lady i think happy success stories they told you they used to send messages happy used to send five messages every day and jerry used to send 10 messages every day because she wanted something and she had to put efforts into it so don't get tired i've seen messages i've seen comments you ladies complaining i've been sending messages they're not replying to me i am so tired don't get tired if you want something do not get tired keep sending messages but again it is not a high message it should be a message full of beautiful words so always be creative <laughs> of the words to tell the guy in your first message it is very very important but keep on sending messages because if guys are not sending you messages you should approach them that way you are increasing the chances to find the one but six on how to increase your chances to find the one on online dating apps guys i'm feeding you with too much information <laughs> but it's because i love you <laughs> this is very important yes why am i saying this on online dating apps there is competition <laughs> yes so for you to stand out you have to be unique do the things that other ladies don't do them but i'm not saying send nude photos no <laughs> if other ladies are sending nude photos don't send nude photos if other ladies are asking for money don't ask money 
take care of your bills be responsible yes when this guy sees this in you and he has been chatting with you for few days he's gonna stick to you yes because he will see that you are unique so to add on the uniqueness you also need to be a mystery <laughs> to this guy even if you are chatting with this guy and you love him you feel strong feelings towards him never show it to him yes be sweet <laughs> and very romantic but again don't show that you love him so much you can't live without him i told you don't attach yourselves to men on online dating apps emotionally don't when you do that and you're chatting with a guy who is very very interested in you he will want to find out if you love him he will try by all means <laughs> to end that mystery you know but men really like women who are a mystery <laughs> yes <laughs> guys most of you i know you get messages from guys you chat but eventually you come he has ghosted me you come and be like it did not work you come and be like bella i don't know everything was so so good but this guy is not writing anymore <laughs> no this is the way you should handle things so guys be unique be a mystery to these guys on online dating apps number seven which is the last one i hope this video is not too long oh my god <laughs> most of you have been coming you ask me bella i want to pay for the dating app guys it can be one of the way to increase your chances but if that dating app needs you to pay and a guy should pay but not things of the credits like you have to refill the credits to chat no you two should chat and it should be monthly so if you want to pay then if a dating app like that exists that wants a lady to pay and a man to pay then there you can pay but if that's not the case i will tell you don't pay because you won't be increasing your chances to find the one because you can't pay for the dating app and then chat with men who have not paid that does not make sense chat with men who have paid but don't think of paying for the dating app which allows you to chat for free and think you're increasing the chances to find the one you might end up not finding anyone but losing your money i have so many tips to share with you but i will share them in another video so friends thank you so much for watching this video till now i really appreciate you all for your love and support god bless you if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video please watch my other videos too they are super super good you will learn a lot of things don't forget to subscribe please join the family i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao